Today I'm testing the durability of both the single and double lattice files for airless basketballs using PEBA filament. This is the filament that we've been using recently and we've had the best luck and bounce out of all the filaments that we have tried. Once the basketballs were printed I removed the supports. They're a bit of a pain to remove but they did come off eventually. This is the double lattice file when it's all cleaned up and this is the single lattice file after it was all cleaned up. Of course before any testing we have to weigh the basketballs. The double lattice ended up weighing about 480 grams and the single lattice weighed about 560 grams. I started the testing with the double lattice airless basketball file and like the previous prints I've done it just turned out great. The bounce is just amazing and it is really quiet compared to a normal basketball. The only question I have now is how will this hold up durability wise? And for the single lattice basketball file not gonna lie it was a little bit rough. First off it was really loud loud and the bounce is just not there compared to the double lattice file. Not to mention each time I dribbled the ball it kind of felt like it was going to crack. Even though it was easy to tell the double lattice ball just had much better bounce I decided to give them both a test by dropping each one from 39 inches and measuring how high the bounce came back up that first bounce. The double lattice ball bounced back up as low as 22 inches and as high as 2 feet and the single lattice basketball only ended up bouncing about as high just below 20 inches and just above 21-ish. So the double lattice ball again just has a better bounce. Before I took the basketballs out to an actual basketball court, I was just going to dribble the balls next to each other and have them both go through a 500 bounce durability test. But as I was dribbling both of the balls next to each other, the double lattice ball just randomly cracked, which is unfortunate. After looking closer, it looks like it split along the seam that runs through the middle of the basketball. And originally I chalked that up to being just my printer settings or the Z seam alignment. But now that I've had a couple of the five files printed in this filament along with other filaments and they have all cracked along the seam I'm starting to think there's a weakness in the file. For the durability on the single lattice basketball I am really impressed. I really tried to break this thing and dribble it as much as I can. I even did a 500 dribble challenge with the basketball where I dribbled it 500 times and it survived no problem. There is even a point where I was slamming the basketball on the ground to try and get it to break on purpose. Is this thing infused with steel or something? Since the single lattice basketball survived so well, I decided to take it out to the basketball court and test it out there. So there's a shot with a regular basketball, and here's what the single lattice basketball looks like dribbling on not an official court, but the closest thing that I could find. Alright, here goes a shot. Let's see how great my basketball skills are. The single lattice ball held up well on the court too and I even sent it to my kid's school with my kid the next day and it survived that as well which is actually quite impressive. So there seems to be a bit of a pickle in that if you use the double lattice basketball you get amazing unmatched bounce but the durability just does not hold up from what I've seen and with the single lattice basketball you get not very great bounce but absolutely amazing durability. I've heard there's another double lattice basketball file out there. I'm probably going to have to give that one a try. And I'm also thinking about designing my own so that I can try and make the best of both worlds. If anyone has suggestions, please let me know in the comments. And I'm going to keep trying other filaments and files, so I will keep you posted. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the future videos we come out with. And I will see you in the next one.